All right, um, this is a updated tutorial for the artifact optimizer. I've changed the input here um, to allow scientific values. And if you aren't using that, you should pretty much get over it and use it because it's so much easier. So for scientific, what you do is in the B column, you want to put in the level of your artifact. So on your game, if your artifact says 2.92 E34, right here you put in 2.92, and in this slot you just type 32. Or, oh, mine's 34. And then when you're updating stuff, it makes it so much easier because when you go down you can update this to 1.9 when you press enter it automatically goes to the next uh, row and if you tap um, if you do like 2.5 and you press tab it will automatically go to the right a column and you can change this to 43 and you press enter and it automatically goes back down to the level column for the next artifact so you can go you can just look at your phone and not even look at the screen and go down and enter all your artifact values if you want and it just makes it a lot easier most of the time you're only updating the B column value and this way you don't have to do any sort of converting for any of these other formats so if you chose something besides in scientific value all of these require all of your exponents to be the same so if you do NE20, essentially your C column um, won't be used, but essentially it's your C column will all be 20. And you would have to figure out what these values are with 20 as their E value. Anyways, so really you should just figure out how to use scientific value. Um. If you're at the point where you're only at like thousands, millions, and billions, essentially you can just convert it to E value. So um, 1.0K or 1000 is just 1 E3, um, or 1 million is 1 E6. Um, so that's the only sort of complicated bit. Once you get past um, billions, so like what's that like 20k max stage then you can just input as you see it on the screen but before that you're gonna have to convert essentially to E if you want to use the scientific um, value setup um, besides that besides entering your artifact levels if you don't own an artifact don't own an artifact you need to have zero entered in and then it will um, count as unowned here. So I change this one to zero, and there's 94 out of 95 artifacts owned. You can set, um, once you've chosen your build and your gold type, um, and all this here, your enchantments will probably be zero if you don't have all your artifacts yet. Um, but once you have. Um, all your artifacts you can enter that value and for um, this you can do this so you don't have to enter the max level of all of these if you don't own one of them just write zero in here and you don't have to enter the rest just write zero in the one that you don't own like this and it says 92 out of 95 artifacts owned and don't put anything in there if you own it um, Um, you can use this script to set these all to zero, though there's not really any point, I guess. Um, this will convert your values to the next E value if you're using the old format for the um, inputting your levels and stuff. So you definitely don't need this if you're using scientific value. You won't have to use this convert thing at all. 
This is nice if you can't figure out what's broken on your sheet. If you turn extended ranks on, you can see the ranks of all the artifacts. And sometimes if you don't have a number one, it's because you accidentally typed a letter here. And because it's black on black, you'll never see it. So, um, anyways. So, you can also turn off your tiers, just a little less cluttery. And you can also turn on your um, your percentages for all of your artifacts here. Or I have it right now, so it only shows up if they're higher than 10%. So then it shows you if you've got something that's way out of whack, like right here, your charged card should never be 70% of your artifacts. Um, so you don't really need math tips on if you're using scientific value. Um, since you don't have to convert anything yourself. Well, I think that's all. Um.